can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale and you're going to be outside. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion, Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Big shot to the head. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Ooh, another shot to the head. Oh, got him with the head kick. Lands a nice jab there. Fight behind a nice jab. Oh man, both of these guys didn't really take a shot. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Big land there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. We cross the midpoint in round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Nice body shot. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Good jab. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Wear your hands. What a beautiful body kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good combination there. Get out of there. Beautiful jab lands. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just missed with the left there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. We approach the one-minute mark in the first round. Oh, the kick landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice crack there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Effective use of the jab there by Lear. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Final seconds here. Oh, and a head kick there. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Nice uppercut. Get that right hand up. Another big shot to the head. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Good punch, Lance. He's throwing these punches and combinations really dictate the pace to his opponent. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Under three minutes now to go round two. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Establishing the jab here. Nice, nice technique on the sidekick. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. That kick blocked by Lee. Shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A bit. Horrible. Hold your I need you to go well, block that punch. 
Yeah, left hook found its target. Not going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Oh, nice. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Get the out here. And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's gonna start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. He's gonna choke him. There it is. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Under 20 seconds now to go. Trying to find a home for that right hand. 10 seconds to go in the round. Two rounds in the books. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that position. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Go all right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. So another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Head strikes. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Hands high, hands high. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Straight punch. Useful. Just over three minutes to go. Oh. Set up to the leg kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Trying to establish that jab. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Nice job there to minimize damage. Got the hook in quickly. Oh, 
beautiful kick lands there. The kick is there to the body. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Two minutes to go. Teep now. Massive body kick lands. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Look at the turtle in that kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Able to land there with the straight left. Block that kick to the body. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Under a minute now to go. Nice punch there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh, All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the open. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Nice kick, yep. Left punch on target tonight. Keeping him honest with the jab. Big power shot there. Oh, nice. He missed with that jab attempt there. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, 
the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Doing work with the jab there. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Quick jab. Oh, he's got the hands going. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, PC. Just really feeling himself. Our traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. Nicely done to the body. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Back and forth we go. Inside lead kick is there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Collar tie here in the clinch. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Closes the distance oh. beautifully. He's got oh, a single stop. collar tie. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You felt his power. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? He won the strike in that round. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Oh. Nice shot there by the champ. Great body kick there. Lands a jab. Gets to the single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Beautiful jab there by the champ. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. 
massive kick lands flush. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, nice. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, Superman punch. Big shot to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Barely missed there. Great commitment to the kicking game. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. All right, single collar time now. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, nice. Nice. Work, guys, come on. Whiffs on that offering. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Nasty high kick. Oh, nice kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, collar tie. Oh, continuing to soften up the target here. Nice knees to the body. Oh, nice hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, nice uppercut there. That punch, no good. One minute to go in the fight. Lead hook is good by Lee. Straight punch lands. Nice body shot there. Nice leg kick. Nice liver shot lands. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -uh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Right on the button. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 48 47, and 49 46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of